Guys, in today's video, we're gonna show you how we can raise chickens, our front yard flock, right here on the Stony Ridge Farm. You don't need a farm to raise your own food. We're putting the chickens out on pasture today. I hope you enjoy. Hey there, folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another gorgeous day here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Today is the day that we put our baby chicks out on pasture. Now you're wondering why I'm wearing this silly hat. It's because it's hot and the sun is beating down and we gotta protect that face and them ears from that bright sun. So today, come along as we get busy putting our baby chicks out on the pasture. It's the first time they've ever seen grass. It's always fun. It's always a special day on the farm. Stony Bridge. Guys, welcome back to the Stony Ridge Farm. It is an absolutely gorgeous day here. We do pastured poultry. We do mob grazing with our cattle. We're getting ready to start an egg mobile. It runs around the pasture behind the cows to help eat all the fly larvae. Please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you back. Pick another video after this. At the end of this video, there'll be links to the construction of this chicken tractor and stay tuned for Chicken Tractor 2.0. This is something that you may have never seen before. It's an idea that I had. I built a PVC chicken tractor, and then all of a sudden, I see them all over the internet. So it's pretty cool, very flattering. So what we're gonna be doing is we're hooking up to the Honda Pioneer, and we're pulling this down. This is a storage area that I store a few pieces of equipment right here. So we've had it stored up here. The coop caught the wind and blew over the fence and landed and cracked a little something on it, some of the PVC pipes. So we've got a little bit of a repair to do. Shouldn't be too bad. Very simple repair. We're gonna tow this down, pull it out in the very front yard. You can raise pastured meat birds on a third of an acre or less, guys. You can do this in the city. You can do this in your yard. Just check with your local municipality and make sure that it's lawful, I guess. Or by the time you get your chicks out there and your neighbor reports you and you have six weeks to get it out of the yard, It'll be processing time, so <laughs> I say go against the grain, man. Let's hook this thing up and we're gonna pull her on down to where it goes. Super light, guys. I'll show you how this thing moves around, but for long-term storage, which you can't do pastured poultry in the snow in the wintertime, this is what we do. We take it up there and we store it. So you can move this around the farm anywhere you wanna move it. If you got a large piece of property or a small piece of property. While the chicks are really young, we like to keep them near the house so we don't have such a predator problem. Nice, that's home. They will move every single day, block to block to block, sometimes twice a day, all through the front yard right here. This is how we pasture poultry. We don't have to go out 50 miles from the farm. It doesn't stink, it feeds the yard. It's awesome, guys. So every day when we get ready to move the chicks, we simply grab this little rope handle that I've made and I just pull and it pulls super easy. We can probably do it with three fingers here, just like that. Just slides and glides right along. I get a lot of comments about this and I get a lot of questions. Hey man, why don't you put some wheels on that? Well, what are wheels gonna do out here on wet ground? They're gonna be plow points, okay? This stuff slides, it just slips and slides right along the ground. Now, we talk about the height. The height of this wire is two feet. So we've got about, well, more than two feet. So we've got almost eh, two and a half feet of clearance from the ground to the rooftop. Does that make the birds hot? No, it doesn't make the birds hot because it's open all the way around, guys. They're protected from the weather, they're protected from the rain, and it doesn't roast them. We use a silver tin called galvalume. The galvalume is something that reflects heat. So dark colors absorb heat, bright colors reflect heat. So galvalume helps to keep the birds cool also. Now, if it's 110 degrees and you come out here, will those birds be panting? Absolutely. Will you be sweating? Absolutely. That's nature's way of cooling you off. If you've got a cat or a dog, it pants when it gets hot, and so do chickens. So don't be surprised if you see that. That's what we have here. 
These chicks are from Murray McMurray Hatchery. The white leghorns will not stay in here. The Cornish cross meat birds will stay in here for about six to eight more weeks before they are processed for food for us here on the farm. The white leghorns will go into a new coop design that I'm coming up with that is a mobile coop on a wagon. And that wagon will be pulled throughout the farm to follow behind the cows so that they can scratch through the manure, eat all the worms, eat all the larvae, and make delicious farm fresh grass fed eggs awesome let's start getting baby chicks oh nature boy here we go guys what are these tell me what they are in the comments if you guess right you'll be entered to win a stony ridge farmer hat tell me what those are we're putting them in the bushes over here there's something that are important folks you gotta move pretty quick these little white leggings fly <laughs> you just put them in a bucket and let them in oh my goodness <laughs> these birds are getting big too big for the brooder there you go guys there you go this is not the permanent home for all the chicks okay a hundred of them will be leaving there you go guys Oh, I am worn out. <laughs> that was a chore, guys. Absolutely. Let's show you what we got in here. So these guys seem a little crowded. It's okay for them to be crowded. They're only gonna be in here in about a week. And then all of the layers, which are the smaller ones, are gonna come out of here, okay? So the bigger ones, like this Cornish cross meat bird, will stay and the smaller ones will go. So this is the feeder that we use and we're using some organic chick starter right here. That's what it is, it's from Brower. I'll post a link down in the video description. We'll set this guy down in here and the bird should go right to it. Start to eat some food and I'll show you the waterer. And this is a three and a half gallon waterer. Now you always wanna make sure that the spout where the water comes out is facing downhill and you're never on a perfectly flat surface. This is designed to sit on a perfectly flat surface. So we simply take a piece of wood and prop it up. It's just that easy. Now for the lid, just simply slide a piece of tin right over top of it, guys. Absolutely fantastic. If you're worried about predators, here's our predator solution. So I have motion lights, solar motion lights that are battery powered. These stay on the outside perimeter of the coop. What does a predator fear the most? Being discovered. So that is our mobile chicken tractor. Again, the leghorns will be out of here in about a week, maybe a week and a half, and the meat birds will live here until it's processing day. And then we'll have good, farm fresh, grass fed poultry, which is gonna be absolutely delicious. And we'll be able to offer our friends and neighbors awesome eggs, and we'll have some hogs that we can also feed those eggs to. So guys, thanks a lot for joining me. That's our pastured poultry setup for our chickens. Absolutely fantastic. Typically, this is only for meat birds. If you wanted to do laying hens, I would only suggest doing about four or five, and you gotta put a nest box in there so the laying hens can lay. Moving it every day, with four or five laying hens will be a very laborious task. So I honestly don't recommend that. I recommend you build a chicken house, put your laying hens in, or you do what we're gonna do in a future video. We'll show you how we build our mobile coop so we can cruise around and use chicken manure to fertilize the farm. Guys, thanks a lot. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge. Woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids from living life here in Sweden. That's the way. All right, folks, welcome back. There we go, blooper. This thing's doubling as a uh, driveway scraper right now. <laughs> buddy, come on. Can't see the front camera. There we go, buddy.